I'm uh, Hazrick from the Planet Globula, and I'm doing my first video blog on trying to explain trigonomic, trigonometric parallax. of uh, this star with uh, relative to the background of uh, other stars behind it and we take a picture getting in line and it shows us uh, this star in relative parallax relative to uh, background stars and uh, then we wait six months and our orbit your orbit uh, comes around here to the opposite end of the uh, your planetary orbit around your sun and we take another picture of the same star relative to the background and uh, we get a different thing just like as if you uh, took your finger in front of you and you close one eye at once and your finger seems to be in a different position okay so with these pictures we calculate this angular shift sort of thing, uh, let's call it beta I guess for now and knowing that angle, uh, we can calculate the distances because we say that from Earth to center of the Sun is a one astronomic unit. And we are knowing that we are draw like a fake line down the center here halving the theta in half, giving us a parallax angle. And knowing the one astronomic unit in this parallax angle, we can use a trigonometry to uh, find out this distance here, or this distance here. So we can find out the distance that this star is from Earth, or the distance the star is from the Sun. And yes, that's how uh, trigonometric parallax works. Thank you.